Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a Carmel School. How often do you have the clients coming with another nail tech's work? We can either do a correction or a new extension, but there is not always enough time, so in this case we do a correction. I will show you how to do it in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Here are the nails. There was a quick nail correction and I can point out a few flaws. But it's not that important now, since we need to remove the coating up to the thin underlay to do a new correction. If we keep too much material, there will be excess volume on the sides and the nails will seem white visually. We also need to change the shape into a natural almond. To remove the coating, I'm using a green carbide drill bit. I remove all the liftings and smooth out the surface. Make sure to narrow down the sidewalls at this stage, so that the nail looks more elegant at the tip. There is all the red fringe hidden under the white one, but it's fine since we will file it off later anyways. I push the cuticle with such an abrasive stylus to lift it up. I shape the nails right away, forming natural almonds. Using a 180 grit file, I mat the nail plate lifting up the nail scales for a smooth transition. I do it before the manicure stage to polish the nail under the cuticle. Let's proceed with the manicure. This time I'm using a long red flame drill bit. I lift up the cuticle and remove all the pterygium. Make sure to process the side sinus as well. Turn the finger to the side and polish the lateral folds. I prefer completing the manicure so as not to get back to this step later. I cut off the cuticle with such rounded scissors. Now we need to dehydrate the surface and that's it for the underlays. It's perfect when we can keep them. But sometimes there are so many liftings, which keep spreading further, up to the free edge part. Then of course we have to do a new extension, which means that all of our previous filing manipulations were done in vain. That's why it's not always possible to do a correction. It all depends on the previous coating condition, which may differ. I apply a thin layer of a clear base coat and send it to cure. Next, I will add this gorgeous pink glitter near the cuticle and blend it in. It's one of the current trends. By the way, I have ordered this glitter from AliExpress. I will need a couple of different gel types for this design. Milky, 
clear and white gel paint. I put a few drops on the palette, grab some paint with a thin brush and add it there with dotted moves. Then I slightly mix it, that's the keyword here, slightly, since if we mix it well, there will be a smooth texture, which we don't need for this particular design. Before applying the gel drop onto the nail, make sure to apply a thin gel layer first. For the drop to spread over it, I place the drop on the highest point and carefully spread it with the brush. Make sure not to make any whipping moves, which again may result in getting a smooth gel texture. So here I can't use a thin brush, since it will ruin the nail art I want to create. Slightly pull the gel to the free edge and turn the hand over to spread it. Send it to cure in the lamp. Since this layer is thick, cure it for not less than one and a half minutes. I lay it out carefully by twisting the brush on the nail surface. If there is not enough of any of these gels, then add some more. What makes this design so exciting is that we don't know the exact results until we file it. We will file up the surface and the design will change a little. At this stage, we need to shape the free edge and file the nail surface. I don't file it near the cuticle, since there is just a thin glitter layer there. I will build up this area with a clear gel. I didn't do it right away, so that we could see the nail art better after filing. Only then we can decide whether or not we should cover it up with the clear gel, or choose a clear milky shade instead. I wipe off the tacky layer and remove all the dust. I cover up the nail with a clear gel layer, then apply a gel drop near the cuticle and slightly spread it. There is none of it on the free edge. This nail art looks like a quartz stone with marble lines. It's really soft and romantic. We decided to spice up this nail art a little bit by adding these silver stickers. We had to spend some time choosing them, and one of the stickers got stuck to my glove. I know it looks a bit ridiculous, but let it be. I smooth it out with a silicone brush and apply a top coat. Make sure that the highlight is even. Now cover it up with a medium layer of a clear top coat.
here's the result. This nail correction did not take too much time and ended up looking amazing. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all success in your work. Bye-bye.